Yo, what is going on YouTube? Jimmy World here, back with some more UFC 3 featuring Selamed and Asia. Uh, guys, last night I actually, I went to bed, thought I went to bed peacefully, and I had a really, really, really bad dream. In my dream, Selamed was getting absolutely pounded. Absolutely pounded by Requis. And I told myself when I woke up, we can't let that happen. We need to work out, train for our next fight so we can get ready. And I went to go ahead and add it or edit moves and I only had one move I could add which was the lead elbow and everything else it, it's empty so I need to learn a bunch of new moves because I realize there's a lot of combinations uh, especially for someone who's a button jammer who comes from playing Tekken uh, it's very helpful to have combinations that when you randomly click stuff something will happen right now nothing really happens when I do that um, so that is our focus we need to train up and get a little bit stronger get a little bit faster our punches need to have a little bit more I do believe we have a couple of uh, perks uh, we have two and one is the headhunter that we unlocked recently if we've only had one episode and the other one is zero in uh, in those two sparring session I believe uh, but I think those are the only two we have the only two I they might have been both level three so let's go ahead and get our fitness up learn a couple of new moves so that we can get ready for our next bout so for this fight we actually don't even have a, a choice we are fighting against Joel Spencer 10 and 3 uh, 66 to 63 looks like we have some slight advantages here uh, if we show up we get 600 if we win we get a thousand let's 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 put them down so looking at this my math could be wrong i could be completely mistaken but to purchase this membership for either of these two the only two we have unlocked it's three thousand just to purchase the membership and then 600 a week i could be wrong again but i think we're gonna have to schedule the free my basement gym you know because we broke we're struggling right now and I don't even think that'd be enough for a week. If my if if I'm not mistaken, you have to purchase a membership and then spend 600 weekly, or we can just say risk it and then have no training, and but we have the potential of learning some new. Mo I don't know. All right, so I think I did the smart thing. I stayed with the same gym we were before and just paid 600. I think that's exactly how that works. How I was thinking, but we got Todd Green hitting us up. Hey, Selamat, you've been killing in the WFA. Dana White will be scouting talent. Uh, on the looking for a fight TV show at your next fight put on a show kid This could be your ticket to the UFC. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll give humble. We'll do I'll, I'll do my absolute best to impress we're, we're not at Conor McGregor status yet We will be way above that but not in due time So right now the only moves that are new that we can learn that we haven't yet uh, We have to land 15 punches without missing five in 30 seconds We'll gain elbow level one and zero in level two. So let's go ahead and do that give 40 points just so that we can go ahead and learn at least one new move. All right, here we go. So this one is all about accuracy. And, uh, of course, we swing and a miss on the very first one. So let's go ahead and uh, try to corner him. We got 30 seconds to get these punches in. Ooh, okay, we, we've already missed three. But that's okay. We just need three more. And we did it with 13 seconds to spare. 15 of 15, and we missed three. But we did gain elbow level one, and zero in is now... Uh, level two perk. All right, so Dana is coming to our fight, I believe. So I'm not that interested really in promoting the fight. So we're just gonna go ahead uh, and train a little bit, see how much we can do with that. We're just gonna do some box drills right now, uh, and I do believe we get one more, and that is it for the week. And then we are gonna go ahead and spar and get in fitness. I don't even know if what I said was English, but we're gonna pretend it was. I do believe in this sparring, you actually can overtrain. But the last time I sparred, we didn't even get to 100. So that is the keys today. Get to 100. It is kind of a, depending on the amount of, uh-oh, how do I block? Ah, uh, someone please tell me how to reverse these things. All right, let's see. We're out of it. Very well done. What up? Okay, I was gonna say now we need to we need to throw the hands, but um, there we go. Good little counter there. Haven't even used the new punch we got. Okay, ah, oh, defend. I see it now. I think it, it, I, if if it's always if it's always L one, I see it. Ninety seven percent finish. I like this. Oh, and there we go. Listen, we're gonna be a problem once we figure out all the mechanics of this game. I promise we won't be playing on easy forever. Yeah, so this may be a really, really big mistake, but I told you we were gonna be a brawler. Our power's already at 85, strike speed at 76. 
and that's pretty much the only thing we've been focused on so we basically got a knockdown early or we're in trouble hey i'm ufc president dana white and we're always looking for up-and-coming talent to sign back in the day i used to scout the world looking for new talent but i haven't done that in years I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions. And I'm willing to go to any show, anywhere in the world to find them. Super excited about the talent on tonight's card. A lot of tough fighters. Let's see who really wants their shot at the UFC. There you see it. We've got the height, the weight, reach, and we're younger. And we got Dana in the crowd. The scouts are here, and they're looking for a show right away. And he's already tripping. Let's go. How do you throw the punch right away once he's in the ground? Let's go side control. Not where I want to be on the ground. Top mount. There we go. Okay, he turned around. He's on his back. That was a mate. Mistake, young fella. Okay, back there. Posture up. And let's give him the work. Get down, stay down. Lay down, stay down. Over in a minute. Less than a minute. Dana White, you gotta sign me right now. It is already over. Put him in the casket and bury him two yards deep. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if that is a UFC record. I highly doubt. I'm sure people have been knocked out in less than a minute, but it took 53 seconds for us to knock him down. He landed two of four, missed two significant strikes. 33 seconds of control, and we ended up knocking him down. And uh, 13 of 15 significant, 19 of 21. It was over before it started, Joe. I'm sorry, that mustache could not save you tonight. On top of that, we've completed both our contract goals, including the optional one. Our longevity is 99%. We gained 2,500 fans. We were at 35 before, so that's pretty good for a fight with low hype. We also made a little bit of cash, so we'll be able to train and get even stronger. You can see it there. Twitter is already buzzing. People are excited to see me in the UFC. Joel Spencer, hey, Selamet, I'm coming for you. You'll see this face soon, and we will destroy you once again. Uh, let's see, let's see. Would be fun to fight again? Absolutely not. Hope you can make it to the big leagues. Let, let's throw a little slide. Let, let, let's acknowledge him, but let him know we are above him as we earn our first contract. Celebet rookie fight contract, 15,000 for show and 10,000 plus 10,000 for win. Win all fights on contract by stoppage. Dana White, all we need is our signature and fingerprint is there. And there it is. So let's take a look at our new contract rookie. Our current rival is Joel Spencer. And we have contract goals. Beat rookie rival one time. Optional goals. Win all fights by stoppage. And get at least one fight to high hype. Let's go ahead and try to knock out all these goals in our contract. Including the optional one. Now let's take a look at our fights. UFC Fight Night 110. We've got Andre Buchanan, Eric Wilson, and Daniel Sanchez. Now, they're all the same hype, low hype, three weeks, and the same payout. The only thing is, Andre and Eric are both undefeated, and Andre's 15-0. Let's say we give him his first L of his career. You know what, Joel? You, you're my rival, and you've been hitting me up a little too much. Hey, Selamet, told you I'm coming for you. Just signed my UFC contract. Hashtag amateurs, all you will ever be. The only reason anyone knows who you are is because I fought you. And that's the response you're going to get from me. Well, I'll see you in the ring soon. It'll be the last time you went to the ring. So we just sparred and we got a key to victory. Your opponent has no clue on how to defend against Kimuras. Let's go for one. Now, the one thing I got to say about that, that's great advice. It's really important to note that. I don't know what a Kimura is. So that doesn't really help me. So after some training, we have got our power up to 94, strike speed up to 82. Everything else is pretty subpar, but we are at 98 peak fitness. 
and we have no injury so let's get ready for our next bout actually had a little bit of training left 83 strike speed 95 power would you look at this a little article on us and uh, i'll hide myself 219 views i guess we can't really complain about that i guess i guess that's pretty good hey everyone i'm megan olivi and this is your ufc minute the ufc returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines when ufc president dana white went looking for a fight he was hoping that he would end up with a future ufc star and those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local heavyweight circuit en route to his octagon debut this weekend. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he won his fight on Dana White looking for a fight and did so with style points. So here he is making his UFC debut. Now the paycheck gets bigger and the audience gets bigger. Will there be an adrenaline dump? Will he experience some UFC jitters? You have to ask the question, Joe Rogan. We've seen a lot of UFC newcomers succumb to the nerves, fall victim to the bright lights of the famed UFC octagon. We'll see if it's a factor for this young man tonight. This guy has ruthless one-punch knockout power. You can't teach it, but when a fighter has it, it's a huge advantage. Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. He's an extremely well-rounded mixed martial artist. Fantastic stand-up, great wrestler, and very slick on the ground. He's worked hard to have world-class skills at every aspect of the sport, and there are very few, if any, holes in his game. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, no pressure. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Richie Boy. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Right, are you ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. All right, here we go. Someone's going to have to teach me how to touch gloves just in case I ever feel like touching gloves with an opponent, but I'm coming out swinging. Okay, I'm even throwing kicks. My opponent doesn't even seem to be defending himself, and he's going into a corner. I'm going to end you in style. Uh oh already down. Nice little kick while he was down, and I'm somehow in the corner. Try to backhand. Sit down. He gets up quick, though, and that's it. It is over! 45 seconds! We have to up the difficulty because that was entirely too quick and too easy. I'm getting the hang of this. And Bone Crusher, Selamet, is going to kill someone in this ring. What a knockout! He came in leaning forward and we caught him with a right uppercut on his way in. And that was all she wrote for my opponent, Buchanan. Lay down and stay down, boy.
as he starts to celebrate with his coaches and teammates. Congratulations to the UFC newcomer. So there are the stats of our fight that lasted 45 seconds. I did some research and there's a lot of fights that have lasted less than 10 seconds. I think that's our goal with Bone Crusher. So I get a tweet from a sweet thing named Megan. Selamet seems like a legit prospect. Can't wait for his next fight. We're going to hit her with the thanks, Megan. I'm going to keep working hard and doing my best to get better. Hey, but that's going to do it for this episode of UFC 3 GOAT Career Mode with Selamet and Edge. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And of course, let me know down below. Give me some feedback. Is it time to up the difficulty? Um, four fights in and it's, it's fairly easy, but I, I do have a lot of power and that's the only thing I'm focused on. But I'm sure it will get harder and uh, we'll continue to get better. Leave down all your suggestions. I need your help. But other than that, that's it. Peace. The world is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? It's yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? The world is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. I sip the dumb peak.